this video here where he's passing off this statue as being real <clears throat> this is actually real age of disclosures come out and said it's real that this is a being so if this is what mud fossil research has come to then i have to leave it behind and then straight after that he's going on about this so-called dragon again that's he's calculating at 900 miles long well this guy believes he lives on a spinning ball so he needs to do the curvature calculation at 900 miles and work out what this dragon will be doing around the curve before he even comes out and says that the other shill to do with this is obviously age of deception I could have gone into a lot more detail with it, I just can't be asked with it because I mean it's so obvious. Like these here. Because this channel is mainly to do with mountains of being giants, right? But you can look at all these images in detail. At first I thought they were all Photoshop, but they aren't. They just stood at specific angles like this cheek here will be about five mile in front of this one here this will be two ten mile in front of this ridge here and you can make them look like faces right so basically if you was over the top of this thing it would be ranging about 50 mile right none of them are faces uh, if you don't believe me Yeah, so this is actually slag glass, right? And you can form them into these shapes and they look like living tissue, right? Which is exactly what that crap looks like, what he's showing. Again, that's something that's Fenton glass. Looks like flesh. Uh, obviously this isn't an artery, is it? And a vein, where the arteries blow out and all this and that, yeah? It's glass. This is slag glass, which is exactly the same that's in the videos that he uh, put out to wise up. Again, you need to get familiar with this stuff because I think you're going to start having it run down your neck, seeing as, as it seems a little bit desperate at the moment. This is obviously railway slag, and these aren't mud fossils, are they? But they've all got breakpoints on them. Or oh, oh, he's going to start pointing out breakpoints on, you know, to your imaginary ones. This is what I mean by slag. And it gets dumped down railways. And this is where he's been getting all his specimens. That's, look. Flat Earth Nation has already made videos, many of them, where he's picking this stuff up and he's told you where he's getting it from. If you don't believe me, then go test me. So, age of disclosure, these are meant to be faces of giants. Yeah, but you know, we all know that the human eye can be tricked, can't we? Don't we? Yeah. This here is about 100 foot wide, right? You can see this cheek here is way beyond this ridge here and that's what I'm getting at with this image that I'm going to get to show with. so this obviously looks like a face because it's trees actually that's making it look like a, a face you know you can look at clouds can't you and clouds can look like faces right this is the image that's on his page and this cheek here you can see it's completely separate and this ridge and the reason why that shadow is there is because it's about 50 mile behind it. 
this is in front of this ridge which is in front of this ridge right and this is the nearest one and there's probably about a 200 mile difference here right because this is not a body that's inside this statue is it it's mud and mud rock this is not a statue a human being a mummy inside this stuff is it or you can go believing that this thing was living at one time and that eyelids can literally turn into mud fossils